Valentine, you can take this next question. Like, which learning resources are highly recommended? Because um, you guys have to, you, you, you've um, you've um, you've told us the kind of skills that are required, and there are so many, both um, technical and professional wise. But where where do I go and get these skills? So um, <laughs> this is a tough question. I think um, if you think about this question critically, um, maybe I, I'll answer it from a, you know a curriculum designer's point of view. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone learns in different ways. There are persons mm-hmm. who learn by listening, persons who learn by practice, person who mm-hmm. learn by um, even just you know interacting and talking to other persons. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think um, it varies. It varies with one person each from person to person it varies i would say a, a good example would be i would go to linda.com and watch a two hour a two hour course and or, you know maybe yeah. learning how to 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 wrangle data um, mm-hmm. but after that um you know one two months later i'll have forgotten i'll, I'll haven't really have grasped what i had learned mm-hmm. um so i i would highly recommend just looking at what exactly works for you and trying to figure out how that would happen mm-hmm. if someone were to approach me um right now and ask where do i go for resources i would tell them um i would actually take them through a coaching session like you know for them to first of all figure out what really works for them mm-hmm. but um a recommendation would use would, would be to use what is called a, an issue tree first of all you look at um a situation where um um what what do i learn how do i learn best is it through project based um uh, learning models or is it yeah. more of um you know sort of theory practical mm-hmm. sort of you know kind of a model mm-hmm. then i would now look at okay what you know project based learning experiences mm-hmm. are available mm-hmm. then i would look at um you know um, are they free or are they you know for paid or you know and looking at my situation maybe the ones that are available for free are the ones that i can take and mm-hmm. um if some other person would want to give a bit of some to put a bit of some resources in learning yeah um, they could also go so it's it's a bit subjective mm-hmm. um, there are tons of resources i don't i know this is not the, the best answer to this particular question you just want yeah. to know you know let me go to that website but first of all before even learning just try and figure out what really really works for you mm-hmm. um let me even give you an example it could be that um <laughs> maybe you have full time uh, maybe you have um uh, every day monday to friday to yourself yeah um, um and you could decide let me do a full time program um, say mm-hmm. the one like moringa the data science you know program mm-hmm. in moringa mm-hmm. and you could do that um, because that is what probably works for you but for another person it would be um i don't have full time no i don't have time for you know learning from morning to evening, to evening maybe yeah. i could yeah maybe i could um go to a program that um happens every saturday it could be the ones that you know the community workshops that happen mm-hmm. or it could mm-hmm. be also some you know an evening program there's also i also run an evening program starting next week mm-hmm. by the way but yeah it could be something of you know like trying to figure out what really works for you then going you know towards uh, t- undertaking that particular bit mm-hmm. i know this is not the kind of answer that most people would expect but yeah. from a um a designer's point of view yeah. um when i design things i don't just design for everyone i design mm-hmm. for specific people mm-hmm. and there are various levels of understanding that um, i would go through maybe it's for um there's what we usually usually use is called um mm-hmm. um bloom's taxonomy and it sort of helps to 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 set um some sort of obje- objective in the mm-hmm. learning experience it could be mm-hmm. from this learning experience you just want people to just understand from this learning experience you want people to apply from this learning experience you want people to um, um use the knowledge that they have learned to you know create new solutions yeah. so my advice just just figure out use maybe that what i have mentioned mm-hmm. issue trees and you know try and work out what really works for you and do just a bit of some research and you'll find a solution that works best for you for people 